royal snub, Prince William, Harry and Kate's mental health campaign. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and Prince William's campaign heads together was initially snubbed by celebrities who didn't want to be involved in the mental health campaign, the Duke of Cambridge revealed. The royal's interest in mental health didn't help gather the support of Alistair's for an initiative dealing with the often stigmatized issue. The topic itself of heads together, in fact, was what kept famous people away from pledging their support to it, the second in line to the throne confessed. Heads together, launched by the Cambridges and Prince Harry in 2016, received in fact zero support from famous people who could have helped boost the newly born initiative, Prince William added during a panel at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. He said, what was very interesting from when we set up the campaign was that not one celebrity wanted to join us. Not one person wanted to be involved in the mental health campaign, heads together. We went out to a lot of people and nobody, before we started, was interested in being a part of heads together, because it was mental health. That was two years, three years ago, you know, and that was a big deal. The initiative launched by the Young Royals which works towards tackling the stigma around mental health and push those suffering from related issues to open up and fight it, became successful very quickly even without the support of Alistair's. And after hitting fame, the campaign started attracting the attention even of some of those celebrities who turned down the initial offer. Prince William said, then obviously, once we started to get the ball rolling, once we started showing people what we were going to do, people realized that Catherine, Harry, and I put our necks on the line here, that maybe actually it was okay we could join. Then some very brave people came forward, from celebrities and from normal people who decided this was really important, and they bravely took on the task of speaking out about mental health. The Duke and his brother Harry first opened up on the impact the sudden death of their mother, Princess Diana, had on them. In 2017, 20 years after the car crash in Paris which killed the Princess of Wales, Prince William revealed it took him decades to process her death and speak publicly about her. Princess Diana's death also played a major part in William and Harry's decision to actively work to help people suffering from mental health problems. He said, smashing the taboo is our biggest aim. We cannot go anywhere much until that is done. People can't access services till they feel less ashamed, so we must tackle the taboo the stigma. The Duke was in Davos to attend a panel speaking about mental health issue. During the conversation, the Duke opened up also on the huge impact his former career as a pilot of air ambulances had on his mental health. He said, I still find it very difficult to talk about it, I get very emotional about it because it relates very closely to my children. William added that sharing his feelings with his colleagues stopped him from going down a slippery slope. The 36-year-old said, I was dealing with a lot of trauma on a day-in day-out basis, stuff that your body's not programmed to deal with, there's just no way it is. Something in the day comes along that is closely related to your own personal life and that really takes you over a line. It's only natural you're human, if you don't feel anything then you need to get checked out for that. We talked about it with my colleagues, and other guys and girls there and as a team you draw it out and you debrief about it and the whole team was affected by this one particular job, and you manage it that way. I know if I hadn't taken the action that I did then, I would have definitely gone down the slippery slope and I would have been dealing with mental illness on a different level.